Hello, my gorgeous Ophiuchus, and welcome to your weekly energy check-in reading. We are just going to jump right in and get started. I am so excited. Look at this energy. It's wow. We've got the Empress in the upright, the Ace of Cups in the upright, the World in the upright, and the Queen of Wands. Um, whether you're masculine or feminine, this is some absolutely excellent energy to be standing in. So what I feel like is going on here is we're standing in our power. We're nurturing right now. Um, we could be nurturing ourselves, those around us, projects in our lives, um, the direction that we're going in. We've got this love, we're whole, all on our own. We're overflowing with it. I feel like there are tons of new opportunities and love that are about to come in. We might be shutting down an old cycle here with the world, but I do feel like this is just the end and then the new begin again. I feel like it's just like re-upping the energy. I feel like maybe gone are the days of us not seeing our value and where we stand. I feel like very clearly we're passionate. Um, you're beautiful or handsome. You're ready to create in your life. It's just a beautiful, beautiful energy to be in. I really love this. I want to see what else is coming up. All right. So this week could be that, oh my God, look, what, look what's underneath the star and the 10 of pentacles. Okay. Off you kiss. You're kicking butt and taking names this week. I really like this. Okay, let's see. What else does spirit have to say? For the I oh, I saw it, but it hold on. Let's see if it'll come back around. All right, so we have that Knight of Pentacles. So an offer is coming in, and one that was maybe slow moving. All right. Okay. We do have strength here in the upright. You know, it. you don't get that strength card unless you've been through it. And I feel like you've been tried, you've been tested, and I feel like you've come out shining on the other side of trials and tribulations. Um, oops. You may have had to um, really become very logical. I feel like, oh, wow, we do have counterparts here as well. Okay, so I'll get to this. Okay, so you may have come out of a connection that was a little on the colder side or um, one that that seemed more logical versus more loving and um, I want to say genuine. I just feel like this was a connection and maybe one born out of necessity or um, it just logically made sense for the two of you to stay together. I feel like that fell down, and I feel like it did for great purpose. I feel like there wasn't enough love there to actually keep it going, and this could be like the deep past for some of you as well. Um, I do feel like that um, situation ended. I feel like Divine realized that you needed more. Yeah, you needed to build in a new direction. Um, and I feel like with someone who is, I feel like more in your energy, I feel like maybe you matched this person's energy, but I feel like divine saw that you had so much more. Yeah. So they wanted to give you that opportunity, that golden opportunity to plant that new seed. I love this and balance things out. I feel like maybe you weren't feeling very balanced in this logical connection. It's like, um, I don't know, maybe the two of you had children together, so you stayed together. Or maybe um, didn't have enough money to move out from being with each other, so you just stayed in the same living space, you know, or you stayed in a relationship. For whatever reason, I do feel like things were off balance for quite a while. I want to put this over here. I feel like they were off balance for quite a while. Um, I feel like, yeah, Divine saw that you had more. Um more to experience. You're not just this one dimensional person. And I feel like maybe in that past relationship, that was the only side of you that kind of shone. I, I feel like if we're going back to the beginning of the reading, we've got that empress, we've got that fire, that passion. I feel like all of that was lacking in a past situation. Um, I feel like you may have gotten to the point where you stopped looking into people and just started um, kind of focusing on yourself. Yeah, I feel like you started nurturing yourself. Yes, look at that. That Queen of Cups, that 
queen of pentacles, like I said, I feel like you're multifaceted and perhaps in the last connection, you didn't really get to showcase who you were as a whole. It was like maybe you had to omit pieces of yourself because it made that your partner feel uncomfortable. Maybe um, they could have been insecure about the amount of money you made or the way you show up when you're in your full power. And um, maybe you just wanted to please that person and you know, you may have wanted to be with that person at the time and you were willing to kind of minimize yourself or make yourself smaller. But I feel like um, that got old real fast is kind of what I'm feeling. Yeah, I feel like you're looking for that type of connection that's really passionate, that has purpose to it, that makes you feel like you can stand in your authentic self and be the whole of yourself and allowed to shine for all of your facets. Um, I feel like that you can be logical and strategic, um, but also passionate and, and to kind of rule your life with purpose. I feel like you didn't go off in search of someone else. Um, you went off in search of yourself. And I kind of feel like this tower was for great purpose. And I feel like because you went off in, in search of yourself and you became this, um, this ruler in your own world and started creating in your own, own world and taking responsibility for things in your space, um, you kind of put yourself in the running for uh, that new to come in. I feel like you could go into step into a relationship right now. And I feel like, yeah, with a soulmate, I feel like this is amazing energy. I just feel like you have everything that you could possibly need to step forward. And I feel like it's because you took that time to really respect yourself, to realize that being only a piece of yourself was doing you and the world at large, no justice. I feel like I feel like doing what you're doing now, you've created a victory in your life or um, are paving the way to create the space for many victories uh, ahead of you. Look at that. And there's that world. So we're coming full circle now um, and bringing us back to the beginning of the reading. I feel like you are pulling in that energy. I feel like maybe you've had to be really logical and you haven't really thought about love or um, now you might be making that decision that love might be something that you want. Maybe you have had quite a few victories and you're like, you know what? I feel like the part of my life that I set aside for a while, that love sector, maybe I'm going to hop back in there and have a new beginning. It's like maybe I'm going to step into my empress if we're going to the big, like the, back to the beginning of the reading. Um, that might be where you're getting ready to go. It's like you're already your emperor, right? You make those logical moves, you make those money moves. And I feel like that's really important. But now we're coming into this nurturing energy. We saw that queen of cups and now we've got this queen of pentacles. I feel like we're stepping into that more feminine aspect and we're softening ourselves down just a little bit. Whether you're masculine or feminine, we really do need both to be in full alignment, right? So you might have had to stay in your emperor energy for quite a while to get yourself where you wanted to go. And now that you feel like you're there, you feel like you're celebrating that victory, you know, or you're on your way there, it's time to open up and expand and take on maybe a new love aspect. It's like, or at least to just be open to something that could be coming in. Um, I really love it. I think this energy is absolutely amazing. Um, yeah, we have this hermit here and I feel like you may be coming out of a hermit mode. I feel like you've reached that illumination and you've realized that maybe you gotta hop back into that dating game or at least allow yourself to be open to the new coming in. I do feel like you're a very attractive person. Uh, we've seen a lot of energy through here and I feel like this winning energy really kind of puts you in a very attractive vibration um, in general. So I feel like you could be, yeah, I feel like you're attracting that wish of a person. I feel like your wish is getting ready to come through. Oh yes, we love it. Um, I feel like you might have communication coming in. This energy is fabulous. I feel like this could be somebody who is also standing in their power, also doing their own thing, maybe not so worried about stepping into a connection. I feel like this might be a perfect type of match. It's like you two don't need each other, but I feel like you're gonna want each other. I feel like you're gonna want to be in this type of energy with this person. I really love this off of you guys. It looks to be an amazing 
week ahead. And I feel like you've really been putting in the work and now it's going to start paying out. I really love it. I really, really love it. I love to see it. Yeah, that hermit keeps popping up when I was trying to pull the cards out. I feel like maybe that's where you've kind of been when it comes to your love life. You've really not been focused on that. Yeah, you've been putting in the work in other areas. Yep, spirit on point as usual. Okay, let's pull some of these. All right, for off of you guys, your initials, maybe a new person's initials, somebody that you might be wanting to deal with, might be wanting to see if they're available. All right, what do we have here? I heard something about the queen or the empress. So whether you're masculine or feminine, I feel like you're really standing in your power. And I feel like the beautiful thing is you're really nurturing yourself. And I feel like you're not willing to settle for anything less than you deserve. And I really think that is a, a beautiful energy to be stepping into. All right, we're gonna leave that there for a moment. All right. So we have a P, a three, a B, a J, a D, a J, and a C, and that five and G was standing out. <laughs> you might be um, getting uh, a text message from someone. Um, you know, I heard from work, but it's not concerning work. You might have a work person uh, kind of interested in you, all of you guys. Now this could be for some, um, but I feel like they may be kind of communicating with you under the guise of it being like work related, but I feel like this person really wants the opportunity to get to know you. Um, so that's first up. Wow. We do have heart healing here and I want to start there. Like I said, I do feel like perhaps in the past of, um, you know, your love life, you really had to heal from that. Like I said, I'm seeing that strength card and I feel like you didn't get this far to only go this far. And I feel like you've really been working at that healing and I feel like it's really starting to pay off. And if there are still things that you need to heal, I feel like you may have a partner coming in who might, um, I don't wanna say help you heal, but to show you that you have done the work. It's like when this person steps in, you're not stepping in out of fear or need, you're stepping in because you want to, because it feels right. Um, not because you have to have this person in your life, but because you want this person in your life. And I feel like that right there speaks volumes to whoever I'm speaking to. All right, we have that little nurturing teddy bear there. Somebody might be coming in with a gift. Um, it doesn't have to be a teddy bear. It could be flowers, could be anything. But I am seeing that someone wants to kind of nurture a connection with you. Now, for some of you, you may have a past person coming in. I know, I hear dun, dun, dun. And, and I feel like a lot of people go, oh, and I hear like that internal like groan. Um, but I do feel like this might be a person that you wouldn't mind seeing come back through. Um, this might not be someone that you had problems with. This could have been a crush from the past. When I say past person, it doesn't have to be someone that you have an immense amount of history with. It just is someone that you actually know of versus, um, you know, a new person that you've never met, okay? So take it how it resonates. Um, but I do feel like somebody might be coming in because they see you shining. They see you're standing tall. You've got that emperor, empress energy. You're in alignment. I feel like you're in full bloom is what I hear. Um, I really love that. Yeah, I hear romantic rose, you're in full bloom. So it's like, I feel like each and every one of you, you're you're smelling good, you're looking right. Um, and I feel like you're really shining and I feel like it really, really shows. It's really magnetizing people in. And I feel like spirit is on deck with that. I feel like spirit is almost kind of urging you to step out of your hermit phase when it comes to love and relationships. I feel like spirit is saying you've done really well. You've done a lot of healing work. You are ready. You could step into something new there could be new growth there 
innocent new connection. Um, maybe this is someone that you hadn't quite noticed is in your vicinity. And maybe things have been pretty innocent between you and this person. But I feel like it might start heating up. <laughs> yeah, I want to put it together. I feel like things might start heating up. I feel like you might just be letting off this vibe or... Maybe they heard through the grapevine that you're kind of allowing yourself to maybe start dating or you're looking or you're interested in maybe finding a partner. I feel like this news I hear spreads like wildfire. So I don't know if um, there's a lot of people that have kind of been waiting for you to kind of step onto the market. I feel like you were single but not available. Now you're single and stepping into that availability zone and I feel like you might have a lot of people kind of bum rushing you to see if they can you know catch you for a date or maybe take you out for drinks or I don't know meet up for lunch or just there might be people trying to start off slow and then there might be people coming in who are in fact very very obvious off because that they want your time um I really love this I feel like it's great energy I feel like this will be happening throughout the spring um but I feel like it could be starting up within your next seven days Gorgeous, gorgeous energy. I love it. Okay, thank you for watching, um, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!